Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in this video, I wanna cover a topic that's maybe a little bit more complicated than my usual videos, but stick with me. This could really pay off in the long run. And I think if you master this topic, you can become the master of your smart home. And we're talking about logic. And logic is a feature or tool in Homey that really helps you create some powerful automations or flows. Now, I wanna dive into a little bit the basics. So we're gonna talk about tags and then a little bit more of the complicated side, which is variables and using these in some complex flows. So stick with me and that's what we're gonna learn about. And hopefully I can make these things become a little bit more logical for you. Let's jump straight into it and head to flows and create a flow. I'm gonna hit the plus and add a when card. Now what I want for this flow is actually to send me a notification when someone comes home, really simple. To do this, I wanna use presence and I'm gonna say someone came home. Now you'll see right here when I'm making this card that there's a tag called name that can be used. This is what we call a local tag since it's created for this flow. Let me hit the check mark and go then to the then. And then I wanna add a card that sends me a notification when someone comes home. So I'll go into mobile and then send a push notification. Now here, you can pick a user, I'm gonna send it to myself, and then you can add a message. So in this case, I just wanna write, hey, and then I'm gonna add that name card for the person that came home. So I'll head into the tags here, and you see this little label right here on the right-hand side? That's where you access tags. So I'm gonna select it. Now, you might be overwhelmed with the different colors and names for all those tags. I'm gonna simplify it. So, I've got a couple of post-its here for different colors, and you'll see it's all color-coded. Let's simplify. So, blue. In this case, for tags, a blue is always a number tag. So, I'm gonna write number beneath this. So, light blue always represents a number. Then, we have a different tag, and that's orange. Now, an orange tag is always a yes, no. So, this is often used for, for instance, if a device is on or off, yes or no. That's the orange tag. Then, a green one. So, green is a text tag. And you'll see in this case, that local tag name is green because it's a text, right? The name is always in a text format. Now, what I can do is quickly explore here. So, for instance, brightness, you'll see that's a blue one. And brightness is, for instance, a dim level. So it's a number, a number often between zero and one. So let's say you dim your lights to 60%, this variable would be 0.6. And if I scroll down, you'll see the presence, so the users that are part of my family group and have access to Homey and my home, they're included here. I've got Emma, Brian, and myself, Alex. And you'll see their status, is Emma at home? No. Is Brian at home? No. These will change to yes as soon as they come home, right? So, I'm gonna head back to the top and I'm gonna add that name tag in my text field here. So the message I'll receive on my phone is, hey, name of the person coming home. And then I'll add, uh, let me put that away, has come home. I'll add a little explanation mark for fun and I'll hit the check mark. So what I can do is save this flow and say notification for someone coming home. Now you can give this any name you want, so personalize it for your own home. I'll hit save. Now that we've saved that flow, it's active on Homey. Let's go into home, select my profile picture and tell Homey that I'm at home. Hit save and immediately I receive a notification. Let's check it out. Notification says, hey, Alex Smith has come home. So great, this flow's working. Now I wanna show you this with, let's say, someone else that comes home. Let's head over to Emma's profile picture, click at home, hit save. So now it's simulating she's come home. I receive another notification and there you go. Hey, Emma Schultz has come home. Great, so that name tag is changing depending on who's coming home. Now that's a basic way of creating a flow with tags. Now I've shown you what Homey can do with a simple tag and a flow. I'm gonna go back in and I wanna edit that flow to add another tag because there's more that Homey can do. 
it's not just adding the name of the person that came home, but for instance, you can also add the time that that person come home. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do now. So let's head in back into flows, select the flow that I just made, head down to the then card and go into it. Now here, what I wanna do is add a little bit of text and then a tag to say the time when someone came home. So the text will read, hey, name has come home. Then I wanna get rid of that, say at, and then what we can do is add that tag that defines the time that person came home. So let's go into tags and here you'll see that selection again. So in this case, I wanna include the time. You'll see that date and time are tags that are stored on Homey. Homey knows the date, it knows the time, it knows when sunrise is, when sunset is. You'll see these are also included. And it also knows some data about the weather. So what the temperature is, what the humidity level is, Depending on how far you want to go, you can add these tags to your flows. Now, in this case, I'm only going to select time. So my flow reads, hey, name has come home at time. And then I'll add a quick exclamation mark. I'm going to hit the check and I'll hit save. So now let's test this out. Let's go back into home, select my profile, select at home, hit save. Notification pops up. Let's have a quick look what it says. Hey, Alex Smith has come home at 1137 exclamation mark. Great. So this flow works for different people at different times of days. You don't have to change it. You don't have to edit it. You don't have to change it to resemble who's coming home at certain times. This all works in the background using those tags that are available on Homey. There's one last tag that Homey has that I haven't yet explored. So let's do that. I'm gonna head into flows, hit the plus, head down to then and add a card. Now I want this card to actually send me a push image. And that's the tag that we're missing. It's an image tag. So I'm gonna head into send a push image. And here you can select one of those tags. So I'll jump into this and you can see that I have two types of image tags. I've got an artwork for my Sonos that's connected and I have a camera image from an IP camera that I also have connected to Homey. Let me pull my post-its for pink, add them to my overview here, and call this an image. With those four tags, you have the basics of tags in Homey. So we have texts, we have numbers, we've got yes, no, and we've got images. And you can use any of these tags in your flows and certain devices create tags for themselves. So if you're adding, for instance, a light bulb, you often have two tags. You have a dim level, which is often a number, so a blue tag, and then you've got a yes, no. Is the device on or off, right? So this is how you start using tags in your flows. Now that we've covered tags, I wanna go into exploring logic with you. And logic is the area where you can create variables which you can then use as tags in your flows. And these work very similarly to the tags that devices make for themselves. So for instance, a device's dim level or if they're on or off, yes or no. Now let's jump into it and I'm gonna show you how to create a number variable in logic that we're then gonna use in a flow. To head to logic in the Homey app, let's head to more. Here, you'll find the option for logic. So I can tap on that. And right away, you can add a variable. So let's do that. I'm gonna add a variable. In this case, I want the type of variable to be a number. And what I'm gonna do is actually set up a dim level number. And I want this to be a number that I choose to set the lights in my living room at a comfortable level. So I'm gonna call it comfort level. That's the name of this variable and I'm gonna give it a value. In this case, a comfort level for myself in my home is 0.8, and that's a dim level at about 80%. So I'll type that in, 0.8. Now, I'll hit check. Now that I've added that variable to logic, you can see it here in the logic overview. I quickly wanna lay out what this looks like in terms of the tags. So, the tag that I've created is a number, and it's called comfort level, comfort level, right? And this has a value of 0.8. Now I'm going to use this in a flow to control the brightness of my lamps. So let's head back and head to flows. Let's create a new flow. 
I want this flow to activate when I trigger the flow itself. So it's a manual flow. So I'll add a card that says flow, and then this flow is started. Hit the check, and then head down to then. Now I want to add a card and direct it towards these two lights I have here. So I'll head into my film studio, select my studio desk lamp, which is the lamp here on my left. And what I'm going to say is dim two. And you'll see that in this card, you have a couple of options. You can dim to a certain level that you dictate, or you see here the little tag symbol. We can tap on that and head into tags and add a tag. Now, in my little overview of tags, I have a couple of options. So here's my section for logic all the way at the bottom. And I see that comfort level is available to be used. So I can tap on that and hit the check. Now you'll see immediately that the card has been added to dim the studio desk lamp to comfort level. I'm gonna add one more card that does the same, but for my lamp here. Now that I've added both of those cards that point to my variable, I can test this flow. So let's hit test. Now you'll see that this light on my right turns on and dims to a 0 0.8 and the lamp on my left dim down a little bit to the same level, 0 0.8. And you can see that that's the comfort level that I set right here in my variable as 80%. Now let's save this, give it a quick name. So I'm gonna say set lights to comfort, hit save. Now to make this flow easily accessible, I'm quickly just gonna add it as a favorite flow. So I'll go into my favorite flows and find my set lights to comfort, hit the plus and move it up in the list. So now I've got that flow readily available. Now you might be asking yourselves, where does that variable come into play? So what you could have done in that flow is set the lights with that slider that we give you to 80% for both lights. This would have done exactly the same. However, the variable is there for a reason. These things are changeable. So I can go into logic and change that variable that I've set to 80% to a different number. So if I don't find this a comfortable setting, I can change it down a little bit. So to do this, let's head to more and head to logic. Here you'll see that comfort level variable that I set up. Now what I can do is quickly just go into it and change the number. Let's say I want this to be 20%. Change it to 0 0.2, hit the check. And just to show you how this has changed, this is now 0 0.2. So that number variable comfort level has been changed to 20%. Now all I need to do is head back to home and play that flow. Now you'll see immediately, both lights change to the new variable, which is 20%. Now what's happening here is that variable that we created, this one for comfort level, is actually being sent to both of these lights, right? So that flow is sending the comfort level to this lamp, 0.2, and to this one, also at 0.2 but that variable is changeable. So you can change it to whatever suits you. And this can be used, for instance, let's say in the winter time when it's darker outside and you want the lights to be a little bit more dimmed than in the summertime, all you need to do is go in, change that variable to something that suits you, your most comfortable dim level, and then you're ready to go. And that's really the basics of how variables can be created and used in flows. To summarize, we've covered a lot in this video. Now I've shown you how tags work with Homey, and I've covered the four types of tags that we can make use of in our flows. We've got text, we have numbers, image, and yes, no. Looking back, we created a flow that made use of a tag in the when card, that was the name, and we added a time, creating a notification to ourselves for when someone came home. Then we went into logic and we created a numeric variable that was called comfort level. And I could set this variable to whatever I wanted it to be. And that would then update in my flows and make sure that that comfort level was used when I activated that flow. Now, that's really the basics of how tags work, how variables work, and how you can use them in your smart home. Now, I hope to, in future videos, go into a little bit more detail on how logic can interact in your home and how we can go a little bit more in depth, perhaps using some mathematical equations and have these act out automations or flows in your home.